Since that mass shooting on Michigan State's campus last month, there's been a resurgence of cries to reduce gun violence across the country. A local nonprofit based out of Grand Rapids is still in its early stages, but it is working to introduce a national hotline where friends and family can get help for someone who they suspect will carry out an attack. New State's Megan Bunchman sat down with the organization's president to learn more. The Violence Prevention Hotline is already active online thanks to volunteers with a wide range of expertise. Counselors, therapists, psychiatrists, and professors are hoping that their work will save countless lives by intervening before someone acts out on any homicidal ideations. Our philosophy is this. If you are considering homicide, you are suicidal. Licensed counselor Paul Krause is taking a unique approach to combat gun violence across the nation. He said he don't care if he die, he don't have nothing to live for. After he watched a news story of a woman talking down a potential shooter years ago who walked into a school armed with an AK-47 type weapon. That's a good thing that you just given up and don't worry about it. We all go through something in life. She told him that she loved him and that she would pray for him and that she wanted to see him have a good life and be with his children again because he had lost custody of his children. He was very angry. Um, he broke down, uh, put down his weapons, and allowed her to get the police to come in and arrest him. Krell said that's when he thought of the idea of a national hotline. It would be similar to 988, the National Prevention Suicide Lifeline, but would focus instead on intervening with potential perpetrators and help friends and family members who are looking for help but aren't ready to turn to police. The difference is, instead of seeking people that are feeling like a victim, that I might kill myself, mm -hmm. we're looking for people in the planning stages of violent acts. We are here to help. Kraus said that while the national phone line has yet to launch due to funding needs, since their website, violencepreventionhotline.org, went live, he and his fellow counselors have already helped several potential perpetrators who've emailed in. We know that people have randomly called the domestic violence hotline and also the suicide hotline with homicidal ideation. Most of the time, the hotline and tipsters would remain anonymous, but if someone is dangerously close to following through with a crime, Krauss said that they will alert authorities. Our idea is this, if you're calling and getting help and turning in your weapons or whatever you're going to commit a crime with, mm -hmm. the justice system is gonna take a more rehabilitative stance on you than somebody who commits the crime. The future hotline and active website is tiered. Not only are counselors available now to help intervene and listen to someone who is hurting. We believe you have a chance at life again, but somehow they fixated on the idea that murdering people will fix their problem and relieve their emotional pain, and that is not what's going to happen. They also provide resources and connect people with a local help, organizations, and de-escalation skills. Right now, the online site is run purely by volunteers. They are experts in their fields, but for the phone line to go live 24 hours, seven days a week, they'll still need to secure more funding and grants.